So technically, we were a little wrong when we wrote this question mark down. We said the question was asking for s. We should have said that was the sub-question. We certainly had to find s, but s was not exactly what they were asking for, because s is the distance from the glasses, and we need the distance from the eye. So this was just a step in towards figuring out this. Okay, so it looks like we've, um, that trap caught us maybe three times, but what's the reason? What's the reason? Well, notice I think every time that trap caught us, it's because we didn't write enough in our picture. Yeah. Right? The picture is the key. The pictures, pictures are the key like to all of physics. Students um, really, uh, it, it's surprising because you wouldn't think students like math so much, but students really love to jump into the yeah. equations. You would, like, you would think that they would enjoy drawing the picture more, but the yeah. students love the math. Yeah. Uh, well, before we do the math, we've got to draw the, the pretty pictures, first of all, certainly in optics. Um, another big trap in physics is they love to give you many different distances and have you use the wrong one. So how do you know which distance to use only with a very carefully labeled picture? So you have to draw a great big picture where you label all the distances. Uh, because even, even at one point, I think you were thinking about this trap, but we still made the wrong decision because without the picture, it's hard to tell whether to subtract or to add. So you definitely have to draw a great big picture like this, labeling all the different distances. Because um, uh, apparently, according to your, the winks that your TA was giving, uh, these are traps you're going to see on the test as well. Uh, the good news is that you've mastered the hardest conceptual part which is that the corrective lenses take an object at the normal near or far point and try to put the image at the actual. But the key thing is, in order for a person to see clearly, the corrective lenses have to create an image at the actual near or far point. In order for the person to see clearly, the corrective lenses have to create an image at the, the, eye, the lens of the eyes at actual near or far point. The only part that's giving you trouble now is the signs and getting the exact right distances. Um, let's summarize a couple other things here. So when you're doing these problems, you might potentially need two different lens mirror equations. One for the corrective lenses and one for the lens of the eye. So you should always label which one you're focusing on here. And let's go through this. Um, so here's the glasses equation. When you're ready, what does this symbol stand for? It's the, the focal length of the, of the glasses. Right? The focal length of the glasses or the contact lenses. So how do we decide if this is positive or negative? If it's diverging. And we know we can figure that out based on whether they're nearsighted or farsighted. We've learned to see that in the past. Now, what does this symbol stand for? It's the distance um, the object is from that and the corrective lens. Yeah, it's how far the object is from the glasses or contact lenses. It's not how far the object is from the eye. That was the trap we kept falling into. This one is the distance, is the image distance from the glasses. Yeah, again, this is the distance between the image and the glasses, not the eye. What does this stand for? Oh. Um, so is this going to be positive or negative? Negative. Because corrective lenses always make virtual images. Okay? That's a, it's easy even if you know that to forget to put that negative sign in. So that really has to be highlighted. Um, that would definitely... So notice here, if you don't put in the negative sign, you won't even get the right magnitude. Yeah. So this is again where people are really going to mess up if they don't put in this negative sign here. And there's no way to check this one like we could have checked the other one. Okay? And when you're ready, let's go through this. What does this stand for? Like the curve of your eye, the focal of your eye. And will this be positive or negative? It will be, um, it'll be positive. It's because we always have converging lens on the eye, because the whole point is to make the light converge on the rest of so the When your muscles are relaxed in your, in your curve here? Think about squeezing a contact lens. Yeah. Oh. So try again. Oh, so when the, oh, it's this way. So when they relax, it's, it's flat. Yeah, if you were squeezing a contact lens between your fingers and you relaxed your grip, it would get less round or flatter. Does that mean the focal length would get bigger or smaller? Because um, the focal length is a measure of flatness, not a measure of roundness. After all, the flattest you could be is a plane, and that has an infinite focal length. OK, so this is always going to be positive. This is the distance of the object. Now, this is the distance of the object from the eye. Now, if you're wearing corrective lenses, this will be the distance between the image from the corrective lenses and the eye. Because the image from the corrective so lenses becomes the object for the eye. So that will be the same magnitude. No, well, it's not. I would say the same magnitude as prime for the glasses, but if they include the distance between them. That was the trap. Yeah, it's not that it's the same point, yeah. but it's not, that's the trap. So. These would be the same concept, but they're different distances, 
That's what the key, everything we're seeing here. For example, in this case, S prime was 18.85 for the lens, but the distance from the, um, the lens of the eye was 20.85. Okay, so yeah, same point in space, but different distances. So whenever you say this is object distance, you don't just say it's the object distance, you want to say the object distance from where? This is the object distance from the lens of the eye. All right, this will always be positive again. Uh, and this stands for? The distance from the image um, to the lens of the eye. That's right. And for clear vision, how long will that be? The yeah, the diameter of the eye. And will it be positive or negative? because we want to form a real image. Yeah, let's go back then and just clarify one or two other things. So for clear vision, um, for normal clear vision, for normal clear vision, what do we want to plug in for this variable? If we want the glasses to correct your vision, what do we plug in for this variable? The far near point that you should have. Yeah, the normal near or far point. You want to be able to put the object at the normal near or far point. What are those numbers? Infinity or 25. Yeah, the normal far point is infinity, and the normal near point is 25 centimeters. You want glasses that can handle an object at the normal near or far point, and that would be a positive number. Uh, and then what do you want this S prime to be? Um, your defective. Yeah, you want it to be the actual near or far point of the actual defective eye, because if you can just put the image at that place, the eye can take it from there. We know the eye can see things at that point. However, remember, you're not actually going to put in the number they give you for the near or the far point. Yeah. Because the, that number is how far the near or the far point is from the eye. You need to translate that into how far the near or far point is from the lens. That was that big trap we fell into here. For example, this person's actual far point is 400 centimeters from the eye, but we shouldn't plug in 400 centimeters for S prime because it's only 398 centimeters from the glasses. Okay. And then for the lens of the eye, again, if you have, um, if your vision is uh, working correctly, um, so for this, uh, let's, let's say you want to see the extremes of what you can see. Um, where would you put the object here to see the, uh, the extremes of what you can see? Um, if, if you have normal vision. Yeah. Um, but if you want to see the extremes of what you can see with clear vision, you'd want to put the object at the person's actual near or far point. Yeah, the actual near or far point, which might be the real, the normal near or far point, it depends on, but with the corrective lenses, again, with the corrective lenses, so if you're wearing corrective lenses, this number is going to come from where this image is. With the corrective lenses, the object for the eye is going to come from where you put the image here, but again, these are not the same number, because the distance from the lens is different from the distance from the eye. We shouldn't have to memorize the relationship. The picture tells us when to add and when to subtract. And then again, for clear vision, what would S prime be? Yeah, that would be the diameter of the eye. So that there's really lots of ins and outs um, over here that's easy to uh, get confused about. All right, one more point. All these traps wouldn't arise with contact lenses. Because for contact lenses, the lens is right on top of the lens. And then the distance from the contact lens is pretty much the same as the distance from the lens. So you have to read the problem carefully and see whether you've got glasses or contact lenses. The distance of something from glasses is a little bit different than its distance from the lens of the eye. But the distance between a contact lens and the object and the object and the lens of your eye are pretty much the same because the contact lens is right on top of your eye. That's why sometimes these issues come up and sometimes they don't. So people start to forget about them. All right. Um, so the only uh, way to really prepare yourself now is to try to find as many eye problems as possible, starting with this one that we just did and redo them. Because without practice, you're not going to be inoculated against all the different traps and mistakes that can come up. Okay. In order the homework is going to do that. Yeah. That's used. Have you had a chance to go back and redo that yet? No. All right, that would be that would definitely be a good thing to do.